Hello and welcome to another episode of Braai with Box 6 Can Grill Style here at Belito Gas and Braai and in my Braai kitchen today I would like to welcome Jock from Crown National. Jock, love having welcome. you. Thank you. Um, Jock is going to um, speak a little bit about their products and uh, we're going to do a smash burger today um, and he's going to show me the ropes and we're going to help each other and have a, have, hopefully have some fun and teach you something today about burgers and braai. So yeah, what we've got here today, um, like I said, we're going to do some smashed burgers. So we're going to make our own patties. We've got some um, pork and some beef trimmings from our friends at Warza um, to build our own burgers. Lekker. Sounds good. Um, Jock, you showed me this product of Crown today, um, the Stetson Char Grill Burger Mix. So usually what we do, if we do burgers, if you want to make your own patty, like I sometimes do, but usually we just buy the mince, because I don't have a mincer at home, like this. We buy the mince and then you put breadcrumbs and egg and spices and onion and stuff. But you said this is a all fix in one for somebody that is not as active or trained in the kitchen. It's an easy it's solution. It's an easy, easy mix, yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, you know, it's always nice to fiddle around and make your own recipe and, and do your own thing, but sometimes you just don't have the time or you don't know what you did the last time. So to simplify, wait, the Crown National's got the batch pack system. Uh, we've got one packet, same flavor every time. It's going to be the same flavor, easy to mix. All your binders, everything is already inside the packet. So all you need to do is just mince it or buy the mince from your butcher and then mix the spice, let it stand for a little bit. There you go, you've got your burger. It's yeah, so it's a little bit uh, more... Um, it's a nicer way of building your own burger. If you, we're going a step further, we're mincing our own mince, but you can just buy the mince and buy this Stetson Chargill burger mix and then there you go. Yeah. But yeah, let's get, get right into it and let's start mincing this, um, this meat. Would you mind helping me here? Yeah? Sure, sure. I think we've got a extra container there. And now tell me, how does this work? Just everything yeah. will mix a little bit half-half. So try and mix it uh, pork. We've got a little bit of pork, a bit, a bit of beef. Yeah. The idea is to get to an 80-20 mix with a little bit of fat to give it that little bit of extra flavor. So okay. try and uh, rotate between beef and pork so we can start the mixture. And please don't put your finger in there. Here's a little device <laughs> that you... Okay. Lovely. Can I switch it on? All yeah. safe? All yeah. Clear. Right. Start your engines. There we go. A little beef in there. One pork. Beef. Pork, beef, <laughs> another beef. Yeah, you you say 80 20. Yeah, yeah, you can put. Yeah, there we go. You don't want to, your mincer also to run dry. Okay. It needs to be filled all the time. It just helps with the maintenance of the, of the mincers. Okay. You just guide it along. You don't need to push it hard. Just guide it so it can get through. Oh, it's looking nice. Done. Yeah. If you can just switch it off there. Okay, we got it there. I can switch it off. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of mints. Okay, we're going to have some decent burgers here this today. Fantastic. Okay, so we need to now just make a mix uh, according to the ratio. The, the recipes are on the packet. So okay. according to how much mince, there's a certain amount of uh, spice. And the water we just add in to make sure that you it blends properly and it's dispersed properly, that you don't have spice pockets where one tastes stronger yeah. than, the, than the other side. So uh, I think we just need to add a bit of water and let it stand okay. for a little bit. So we had three and a half kilograms of meat. So that equates to 350 grams of this mix. Yeah. And we need 500 mils of water with 350 grams of your mix, if I yeah. read all the instructions correctly. <laughs> all Sounds right. right. 
Uh, now, Jock, tell me a little bit uh, more about um, all the other products and stuff you got in your range. I know you're quite a big company and you um, yep. service quite a, a lot of the big butcheries and stuff, but you also got stuff for um, the normal man at street. Yeah, you know, Crown, the, the roots for, of Crown goes back over 100 years ago. So yeah. the company has been around for, for a long time. And, uh, yeah. you know, we, the, we, we've got proud brands like, obviously, Six Gun Grill, Omas mm. Burevos, Safari Biltong. Uh, yeah. We've got in our marinade range, we've got Master Club, Stetson yeah. Burger. Um, and the factory complies to more, most uh, of the international uh, food safety. It's key to our business. Uh, yeah. And we've been servicing the meat industry, butcheries and that for most of the time. Yeah. Uh, but lately we've also opened up what we call Factory Mart. So Factory oh. Mart is a shop where anybody of the public can come in and, and buy our products. Anything we yeah. all, even the equipment, uh, oh, anything yeah, we offer, stuff, yeah. there you can go and they buy it. And uh, the bigger branches is obviously in the, in the hubs, uh, the city hubs, yeah. where the Factory Mart is in the smaller towns. And there's a 20 of those shops around the country okay. that any anybody member of the public can go and go and buy any products crown has got to offer nice man uh, we've been using quite a lot of this um meister club products um of yours and we've been loving it on the show and like you also told me it's a it's a oil-based marinade and can it's quite versatile as well yeah you know oil-based is very important to uh, you know, when you prepare products, most of marinades do have some sort of sugars in it, yeah. and that tends to burn quite quickly. Yeah, that's always the problem. Yeah. So with the oil-based marinades, it'll take so much longer to to cook. You'll see the sauce is a lot thicker, so it will yeah. remain on the the, uh, the product for for a lot longer. And then yeah. also, there's a variety. We've got 13 different flavors in our Master Club range. So yeah. if you're looking for something different or trying something different, there's 13 different flavors that you can can choose from. Uh, yeah and uh, mix up your flavors a little bit if you, if, if you like that i'm <laughs> i'm listening to you and i'm just spilling here but it looks just a little bit um what do you call clont in english <laughs> uh, <laughs> i always it's ask a, my guests some of the english words that i don't remember so uh, <laughs> no you, you also you can tell me <laughs> <laughs> that's a problem <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's funny when uh, we uh, offset talk of Afrikaans to each other and all of a sudden when the cameras roll, it's English. Yeah. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, there's some klonte in this mix. I'm just going to mix it a little bit more and then we're going to add it to uh, the meat. I can no, tell we you can just let it stand a little bit so yeah. it just so they can get all the, because you know, all your binders, your flavors, everything yeah. is inside there. So the water is also just to activate a little bit that ingredients yeah. just so then we can add it to our mixture and let it stand for a little bit. Okay. Looks like, looks better now. Okay, just add that to the mix, huh? That's it. Uh, now we just need to mix it in properly. I suppose it's better to mix it with your hands, easier. Yeah, it's but definitely uh, going to be easier. I've washed, washed so my hands, but I know you can also make it, a, you know, if you want a nice coarse uh, uh, burger, you know, that side you can leave yeah. it like it. You just need to let it stand a little bit. If you want to, you can mince it through a second time if you want to, yeah. if you like a bit more of a finer texture. Yeah, I love the, um, the, the rougher, or what do you call it? The, more coarser, coarser, coarser burger, yeah. Yeah, the mince in, in, and, and even sausage or yeah. burevors. I like a more coarse one where you can taste the meat and see the fat. Yeah. I, I see a bit of a new trend with some of the, some of the butchers is where they would sell the mince as it is there. So people yeah. can take home their, their burger mix and go and size and make their own little burgers. Yeah. On a Friday night, so families like to do things together and yeah, cook. It's, and, it's uh, interactive cooking. It's so they a, can yeah. uh, you know, choose which size they want and, and put it on the bra and make their own burger and they build their own burger. Yeah, so it's, it's very trendy days, these days and yeah, I, I love cooking like that as well. We do pizza evenings where you build your own pizza and stuff like sure, that. Yeah. So everybody there is in it, oh, I want this and this and it makes it a, a nice kaya, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just one guy at the bride, leave my bride alone. Yeah. <laughs> It is competition time on Braai with Box 6 Gun Grill Style and as we all know, 
slops or flip flops, whatever you want to call it, is Belito's national footwear. And um, wear them to meetings anywhere if you want somebody to take you seriously. In any case, then you can win this amazing hamper, his and hers hamper, flip flops, slops, aprons, beach towels, beach bag, bright songs, you name it. All you have to do to win this amazing hamper is go to the Belito TV Facebook page, like it, and comment on this post. Tag three of your friends and use the hashtag chill your toes. Brew Belito. Okay, we've rested this um, mixture for close to five minutes now. I think it's now it's time to um, dig in. Yeah. So how big we take the honors. Big jumbo burger, small little burger. I think I've got nice big um, uh, pet or um, burger buns. So, gee whiz, you're really going large. I, I, huh? I think I'm going to do a nice little jumbo burger. Okay. What do you? How does this work? So, you make, make and you make a little ball. Okay. And then you just put the ball on the fire, just press it a little bit, so it's a smash burger. That's it. Is that why it's a smash burger? Because you smash it. You smash it, just okay. press it a little bit, so it's All flat. Right. Fantastic. Yeah, just you're going. So you bigger. can decide now. You know what size? size. No. Small, bigger. I see you like. Or you can extra, extra, big man size. <laughs> I'm gonna go for double. I'm gonna go for XL. This one, smash it, baby! Hey, bottom. Okay, suppose we just put it down there. Some more. How many? How many do we need to make? How hungry are you? <laughs> <laughs> I think mine will be enough of the for now. <laughs> okay, let's do one more. This. We're not even halfway through here. Yeah? Somebody overcated. Yeah, well, was us really looked after us? Yeah. <laughs> well, let me make one more. Okay. Yeah, and it's just nine. The doctor. Patties are off the fire, nice medium rare, and it looks amazing. And we um, grilled our big panini buns a little bit with some nice proper genuine butter, and uh, my mouth is watering. Are we going to build our own uh, burgers? Yes. I've got some stuff here, normal. Actually, we need some onions as well. Do you like onions or not? I do like some onions. Uh, okay, but let's uh, put this here and you can. Uh, oh, let's luckily, there's burgers. some onion little and uh, in flavor inside the spice. There so you go. So it uh, should be fine. Are you sure that's mine? Um, Remember I think mine? it was a big one now. Yeah. Okay. Why? So Which one do you want to take? I just wanted to make sure that it's the big one. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Uh, we basted it with some of those, um, some of this amazing Master Club basting sauce while it was on the, on the fire. And now you can also use it uh, some of the other sauces as um, on your burger. Which one would you prefer? Uh, Obviously, you know the range. Just yes. pepper, garlic. Pepper, they're all good. And uh, uh, but I always prefer the prego. Prego's got a bit of a extra bit of a garlic flavour and uh, a nice bite. If you uh, like something, a bit hot. I've tasted that. This one has also become one of my favourites, the smoked jalapeno. So I'll maybe do both. I'm a guy who likes some sauces. Okay. There you go. Fire away. While you're busy there, I'm going to cut this some onions. I forgot about the onions. I love, love some onions. What have you got there on your burger? I put some prego sauce and then some lettuce. Yeah. And now I'm going to put the patty. Okay. And put some extra garlic because I like garlic. Okay. And then a bit of a cheese at the end to round it off. Okay, lovely. I think that should be All enough right. garlic for tonight. Yeah. So. 
If you got any suggestions how I'm going to eat this? Though. That's a tricky part. I also want to see that. You were the clever guy that went for the big patty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to no, maybe, it's, maybe I shouldn't use a knife for this. Yeah. I think we should keep this <laughs> off camera. But in any case, Jacques, thanks for coming today. Lovely um, thanks, having you and uh, finding out a little bit more about your products, your fabulous range. And yeah, just thanks for everything. And it's uh, nice working with you guys. And uh, yeah. Thank you for buying with us today. Jock, thank you for coming again. And I uh, hope you enjoyed today. Hope you can go out and build yourself your own smashed burgers at home. Nice interactive thing to do with the family. Get some mints and get your Stetson burger mix and uh, do your own burgers at home and have some nice family time around the fire. Make sure to tune in next week. See you around the fire. Mm -hmm.